Hi, I'm Cheryl Abrigo with USF Tech Transfer Office, Tech Tours. Today we're in the lab with Dr. Harry M. Yada, Director of the USF Center for Microbiome Research. Great, no, nice to meet Welcome. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being with us today. Yeah, no, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank so you. to start out, you do microbiome research. Yes. Can you just explain to us a little bit how the microbiome is working in your research? Uh, sure. So our research program is mainly focused about how the microbiome actually contributes in the aging-related conditions. Uh, when we talk about the aging-related conditions, we are focused mainly on the gut-brain axis, um, where uh, this, uh, how the microbiome contributes in declining to the aging-related cognitive function, as well as developing dementia, Alzheimer. Uh, and on the same time, we also look on the how the uh, our microbiome contributes in how much we eat and that contributes into the diabetes and obesity uh, perspective too, as including the cardiovascular conditions too. Um, and, and what really we do is we definitely uh, try to find out the mechanism, how this microbiome is contributing in the increasing the or decreasing the risk of these conditions. But on the same time, we also develop the technologies uh, which can manipulate the microbiome in beneficial way um, to reduce the risk of, of, of the, these conditions. Um, and, and some of the examples are what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a eco um, ecosystem, which we already have uh, established in here, uh, where really we have the multiple technologies over here, which includes the probiotics, prebiotics, symbiotics, as well as the, some of the small molecules. Uh, and on the same time, we also have the mobile apps, which actually develop the um, more precision uh, nutrition recommendations, what to eat, what's, what, what not to eat, uh, which is also associated with the technology, which basically we can do in, the, in, in this culture system where we can find out which uh, food will create the uh, personalized effect uh, onto the microbiome and, and eating certain foods um, can create the good effects or the bad effects in the long term of the aging uh, process uh, there. Uh, then on the same time, we, we have the whole clinical studies as well as the preclinical studies going on. So we have the uh, kind of all the setup where we can do the clinical trials of the microbiome related technologies. We can also test them into the uh, mouse models, including a C. elegans model, cell culture model. So this is all these technologies are really kind of interconnected with each other. But on the same time, uh, this is like separate technologies to um, uh, to really working on and manipulating the microbiome in the beneficial way. So you currently have six active disclosures with us mm -hmm. and all six of these fit into this part of your ecosystem. Correct. Excellent. So yeah, and, and, and these, uh, these, as I said, these technologies are really kind of, uh, um, we try to create them very strategically. Mm -hmm. um, so they are interconnected to each other and, and really help uh, on, on the uh, on the whole dynamic of developing these technologies. So for example, when we develop these mobile apps, which is basically based on the body types and the recommending the precision health uh, outcomes and the, and the food, then we also have the another mobile app which we are developing for uh, food intake and that also actually associated with the whole nutrient intake and the microbiome uh, outcomes as well as this culture system. This is a uh, kind of a one, um, uh, these are, three different technologies, but they are kind of the very interconnected for all the precision nutrition in the microbiome. On the same time, we have the uh, this uh, probiotics, which reduces the leaky gut and inflammation, which actually increases, means uh, de decreases the age-related conditions. Mm -hmm. um, then also we have the technology for uh, what we, we, we call about is um, <clears throat> the uh, um, natural compound which actually acts onto the receptor which the microbiome actually also act on the on there uh, so having this whole ecosystem um, the help us to really help these technologies to move from uh, one domain to another domain and if let's say if someone is interested on licensing the one technology then really the other technology already help for for developing uh, the, the more scientific evidence and supporting the commercialization of the other technologies too. So we are very much open for really uh, working with the industry partners to uh, take this uh, technologies to the people uh, because that's kind of the one of the, my goal is to translate uh, the technologies what we are developing in the lab 
and they should reach to the people so the people can be really really benefited because we ultimately use the mostly the public uh, funds um, we are funded by the federal government and the state government and we are the state university uh, so really the, the our overall goal is to help these uh, technologies to really translate and then that way they can help the people uh, in the communities so trying to get co sponsorship co development even a license to get these technologies there and it's a whole picture yes uh, and so so this is a really great point um what what we are we are pretty much open in the different models whether either someone want to license the technology someone want to even develop the technology even someone has their technology but they want to develop the scientific evidence they can come and co collaborate the research and we also are open for the sponsor research um and 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 and, and any other other means like people can come up uh, for their their ideas and anything uh, we have the whole infrastructure in here to do the um the research for the microbiome and whether whether that is need to be done on to the uh pre clinical level as well as on the clinical level so we are very much open for for any any platform to work on including like we are working with the many other communities like for example we are working some of the senior living facilities we are work, working with the feeding tempa way mm -hmm. uh so and and we are working with the other startups which basically are also working to commercialize some of the technologies there are there are multiple uh multiple angles of working on and we are very much open for any kind of the options which partners are looking for and this being a natural type medicate not medication but not having to use drugs this is something natural in our system that would improve so many different things that's really great point and that's kind of the one of the my drive is <clears throat> all the many of our technologies can go to, towards mm -hmm. the pharma route uh but my um uh my my preference is to take it as a kind of a dietary supplement yes. or as a food uh because of the couple of reasons the first thing is uh food can be a medicine right so and it can it and when when someone is taking it doesn't feel like they are taking medicine right uh both ways like psychologically and on the same time expense wise because yes. the drugs are more expensive than the yes. um than the food right uh so that's that's the one way the another way is like actually translating these uh food uh, as well as the dietary supplement um related technology is much more faster mm -hmm. as compared to going through the uh, the pharma route so that's kind of the my uh, major um major drive is to really push that one another thing is i want to make uh, clear is we really um are not talking about to treat certain conditions mm -hmm. what we are trying to do is like prevent prevention so the prevention is our major focus yes. and um so 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 if you want to take any medicine if the condition is already not there that for for me it doesn't make sense to kind of start taking the medication uh, rather than you can take that as a food mm -hmm. and then you can reduce the uh, risk or you can either prevent it delay it or uh, and, and completely block it never right. happens right. but in the natural way rather than the we kind of uh, yeah we, we we jump on the pill yes yeah yeah awesome well thank you so much for being with us today Great. this has been very enlightening to say the least i'm sure rigo with dr periam yadav thank you for joining us thank you so much it was pleasure to to be talking with you thank you, thank you.